Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Proverbs with Paul in the afternoon. And it has turned freezing, hasn't it? It's got really cold. November and it's cold. Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 21. No harm happens to the righteous, but the wicked are filled with trouble. No harm happens to the righteous. That's an interesting thing to say. If we was to look at that as it says it says, it would be difficult to accept that because we know that harm happens to those who do the right thing, those who walk in the right way. Sometimes great harm happens to those who are righteous. So it can't mean that we escape harm if we're righteous as a kind of a, a protection of sorts. And the concept of harm doesn't just take place in regards to the physiological, but it takes place in regards to the emotional as well, uh, mental. Um, there's all places in which we could be harmed. And so you start to unpackage, it's not just physical, it's more than just physical. Any kind of injury or damage done to a person. No harm affects the righteous. So if we look looking at the short term, we would have to say that wrong things or sad things or harmful things do happen to righteous people. But if we're looking at it in the eternal, then we all of a sudden see a different picture. So here we get a sense of what's happening beyond what we might call physical, mental, emotional harm. What long-term harm happens to the righteous? And I think more it's beyond death we're really talking about here. No harm happens to the righteous because beyond death where the righteous will go and the judgments of God will fall, harm or personal injury or a sense of affliction or damage done to emotions to um, your mental and to physical no harm in the eternal will take place to those who are righteous but it's a complete different story to the unrighteous and the wicked for it says in 21 but the wicked are filled with trouble filled with trouble that means to be full of trouble and that doesn't just mean in the eternal, it means in the now as well. So the reality of their now moments, they are filled with trouble. And when they go, as it were, beyond death, they will be filled with trouble. Meaning all eternity, there will be trouble for the wicked. So we don't want to be going into eternity as an unrighteous, wicked person, lest we find ourselves in trouble in eternity not just trouble here because the decisions we make are bad decisions and they lead us astray and we suffer the consequences in the natural here but they will take that trouble and those choices will take us into the eternal where we will have eternal trouble unlike the righteous who will not suffer trouble in the eternal not the physical here everyone suffers as the reality of life. But in the eternal, the righteous will not suffer. Thank you for joining me. Be blessed. Have a great afternoon.